Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutarot and this is going to be a Libro Sun, Libro Moon and Libro Rising weekly tarot reading April 1st to April 6, 2019 and as I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Libro Star Sign and uh, <clears throat> as general reading this uh, the reading itself is going to relate to a different topics and in a different way and level for every single uh, different Libra and this globe. So if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Taro and to give you a, a prediction for its future, that is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for such uh, you have to go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. <clears throat> so that being set aside, going to the Libra reading here for the week, the first card which is marking the topic of your week Libras that is going to be the Queen of Swords followed by the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation here we do have the sun card after that it is the positive approach toward the situation this is going to be the uh, five of cups and the last one which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot we do have the king of pentacles so once again, Queen of Swords, it is the topic, the negative approach toward the Queen of Swords is going to be the Sun card, followed by the Five of Cups, which is the positive approach toward the Queen. And the last one that we do have, it is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the King of Pentacles. So for what it seems, Libra, this week, one person is going to lead you to another. <clears throat> And it does look like that you are going to be cancelled, you are going to be uh, taught or rather like being uh, addressed by, uh, by the first person here which manifests as the, Queen of, uh, as the Queen of Swords. Very assertive one, very emancipating one, very cooked person. Cooked, what I mean is that this person boiled into previous despondent, um, despondent situations and therefore that person have a huge um, <clears throat> experience in what you are going through. That person is not going to help you in any way. Um, how can I place it materially wise? In a sense, it's not going to take away any burdens of yours. It's not going to, um, uh, to help you in any way to push your situation through, you know, physically, like involving themselves in. But what it's going to give you is a, a very sound advice or a... Um, <clears throat> Uh, it's going to point you to a direction and so on and so forth. It's, it's because that person is seeing you struggling, you know, and they very well, that person very well know what's, uh, what needs to be done or how you can resolve your issues. So you can consider that free advice coming as a very huge source of help coming around. Additionally to that, uh, this card, it is very tightly related to, um, I don't want to say health issues, but should you be going into the exam, uh, in a medical exam this week with this card, it does look like that the exam is going to be successful. So literally said, your diag uh, the diagnosis is going to be correct that it is put it on you. The, uh, the accompanied card, this is going to be the Knight of Pentacles here with the Queen. Formation is uh, active enemies. And it doesn't look like that what you will have to do based on the advice of this person is going to be very uh, simple. Actually, it's going to be quite sophisticated. Most likely, it's not going to be something that you would like to hear. So you can count it as a criticism as well. And it will require some... Um, out of the way actions so going out of your way actions and and planning as well and definitely is going to involve a hard work with these uh, cards taking on a break vacation day off it is not an option available if you want to push your things through which this advice of that person manifesting itself as the queen of swords is going to give you 
So following to these cards, the next one, which is the uh, negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Sun card. So the Sun card revolves around a natural unfoldment of one situation, meaning in this case, completely disregarding the advice of that person, hoping that things are to resolve themselves in a natural way or in the way that the current is going right now, which is... Um, I'm sorry guys, which is kind of like unlikely to happen with the Sun card as well as the Sun card points to uh, vital energies and in a negative position it is uh, highly likely that you're gonna lack those energies so you can feel a lot of fatigue and that will further contribute to unwillingness to um, basically exert what this uh, person is telling you to do because you are gonna feel you know exhausted and also low in um, in clamorous belief that is for example you may find it very difficult to believe that following this advice is truly going to resolve your issues so it's kind of like a skepticism and so on and so forth additionally the sun card here into a negative position asks you not to stray for the money as well when it comes to uh, uh, business corporations or uh, career endeavors but instead aim for good performance to build up your name instead of build up your bank account having the name the bank account is gonna follow shortly after and the accompanied card that is going to be the moon the formation is active enemies <clears throat> and it seems here uh, guys that a lot of things are to become clear to you uh, following the advice of this woman again uh, most likely a woman excuse me uh, advice of this person this advice or a, or a revelations that is it could be it could relate to literally anything in your life but with these cards it's and especially with the next one which is the five of cups it's unlikely that you're gonna like it uh, as a matter of fact you ain't gonna like it at all but that doesn't make it untrue at all so you can and accept a lot of um, not a lot but a, a very strong confrontation <clears throat> it could be from uh, your boss it could be from your mother for example or from a very good friend of yours uh, which uh, simply is going to confront you of the things that you are doing wrong not just according to their beliefs but according to the grand scheme of things as well for example feeding up someone else's um, how can I place it? Lifestyle by constantly lending them money, you know, uh, and your mother could tell you that this is not good because, you know, that you are teaching this person that every time they have a problem, financial problem, they always can run um, to you and you commiserating on them, giving those money, depriving your family from money and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like a, a very... Um, meaningful and a very guide wise a advice of yours which is going to contradict to your current point of view and to to your current a um, a way of doing things but the more you indulge yourself in it and the more you allow yourself to extract the positivity out of that advice many many things which are causing issues to you are to become um revealed and from there you can start addressing them one by one the next card that we do have for you libras this is going to be the five of cups and that is the positive approach toward the situation and that is recognizing uh, the uh, criticism that this person is addressing to you realizing <clears throat> that you did something wrong or rather like you haven't approached certain situation in the best in the best way possible but also recognizing that it is not too late to to correct yourself because the five of cups does represent most of the time loss but um it's rather partial loss than the um, than the irreversible loss that is. And on top of that, this card represents loss that does not deprive you from your personal self self respect, meaning that <clears throat> either you will have, like I said, a, a, a time and a way to correct it, or simply it was not your fault. 
so that person which manifests could address a, a mistreatment that your partner is doing against you into your relationship. That is something that it is not your fault, but in the same time is the loss of the relationship, okay? But the important thing here with the Five of Cups is to uh, recognize that you should not deviate the path that you have chosen, meaning that um, just because you are experiencing one failure, that doesn't mean that once you readopt your strategies, you cannot try similar thing on you, like like similar relationship, you know, or a similar um, exertion into one career and so on and so forth. The accompanied card here that is going to be the King of Wands, which is uh, the formation is uh, passive neutral, uh, passive enemies, excuse me. And uh, once again, uh, well, how can I place it? Because the King, it's, it's a very um, positive in thinking, all right? And at the same time, has a high amount of expectations. So it's kind of like recognizing here that your bubble is going to be burst. And uh, from there, you have to ground yourself and be more, how can I place it, more objective regarding the next goals or the next steps, either regarding career or either regarding relationship-wise. Right now, what you need to do here with these cards following the advice of this person is to focus more on the on the small things there, the minor details, and once they are, uh, <clears throat> how can I place it, completely attend to, then you can turn your glance to the overview of the situation and from there to decide what you're gonna do, either with your marriage, either with your career, and so on and so forth. Uh, simply with these cards, your goal, even though it may look right now uh, unachievable, it can be achieved in the long run. But at this point, with the Five of Cups and the uh, King of Wands, you have to roll back a little bit the tape, you know, get back in time and address those kind of uh, important details which were left unaddressed until this very moment. For example, you know, the despondent behavior of your partner or, or, or of a friend of yours or something into your career as well. The, the point here is uh, for you, Libras, is that you are to have these uh, meaningful conversations with this, per with this person, which you are not going to initiate. That person is going to approach you and um, simply is gonna want to, to speak with you just to tell you you know what is wrong and how they see from aside the situation according to their understanding and experience what you should do you know with um, with either your career or with either your relationship and from there it is entirely your decision should you follow their guidance or should you not follow their guidance but um, <clears throat> Should you cut your losses here and follow the guidance uh, of this person, truly takes their advice a, um, on a serious level, then at the end we do have another person showing up, seeing you uh, quite um, fulfilling or a the missing piece of their puzzle in a sense of that uh, this person will, will be willing to invest in you either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. So we can talk about business partnership. We can talk about establishing a, a long-term relationship which is founded on trust, however, with the King of Pentacles. We, uh, there could be love, you know, but the love is not a driving force for that person. Trust and personal and mutual, excuse me, reliability, it is what is the driving force of the King of Pentacles. That is very generous person, but in the same time, you should not mistake their generosity for charity. They do give only if there is something in it for them as well. So uh, if that is someone who is willing to hire you to work for them, uh, then they will expect nothing less but full devotion into the agenda of their company, their project, private work, business, and so on and so forth. They are gonna be ger generous, which means that they are gonna pay you well, but once again, they will expect your full devotion into uh, into their goal as well. Same goes uh, regarding relationships. You know that person is going to be just as devoted as you are uh, as well. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the lover's card, and uh, the formation is passive, uh, 
passive neutrals, passive enemies, excuse me. And with the lover's card here, uh, when that person comes around, uh, that is actually a bit of a warning, uh, Libras. You have to be, you have to take a bit of time to think, you know, what you're getting yourself into with this, uh, with this person, because the lovers into that, uh, into that position as, um, as such a combo, it means that uh, you won't have much of a, a choice after you involve yourself in there. So it's gonna be uh, one way in and no way out until you know that uh, enterprise which you are to be invited to participate into is um, fully developed. So you start working for this person, it's going to be very difficult for you to uh, basically quit or being in a relationship with that guy. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to as well quit. So you have to be very aware what you are doing here. Is that person going to present you with a means to be happy and to feel solid, reliable and fulfilled? Definitely yes, but this person is going to expect you to do the same thing as well. So uh, that being said, Libras, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for um, April 1st to April 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for Libra star sign. Uh, and therefore, this reading is going to address uh, different situations in a different way for every single different Libra. Uh, if you want a personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be um, analyzed by me through Tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rod signing up now. See you next time. Bye.